What's up, fabbies? I'm Tim Marie, and we need to talk. Like, for real. I'm talking heart to heart, okay? Get a little closer. All right. So, um, a lot has been going on lately, to be honest. I've been traveling a lot, like going to Atlanta. Then I came back to Ohio. Then I went to Detroit, then Chicago, and I'm back in Ohio. And it's it's kind of been hectic, to tell you the truth. And I've realized, I've already realized it, but I've kind of was trying to like push it to the back of my mind. But I've realized that I've been making like buku excuses like as to why I haven't been on my weight loss grind. And boy, I tell you, like I need to make an excuses part two, like traveling edition. Excuses. Talking about the ones that fat people made. Like I traveled to. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> no, seriously. Because um, I've been bad. Like for real, my face is so juicy right now. And like I realized that. And I never had a Coke bottle shape. Like never. And you know what? My sister, my little sister, one day I was like, ooh. She was like, I got a Coke bottle shape. And I was like, well, I got a Coke bottle shape. And she was like, yeah, a three liter. Pretty much. She wasn't playing. Like, I I got a, a boat. You know, it was kind of set like that. But anyways, I was starting to get some definition. Like, before I started all this, you know, going state to state and, and kicking it and stuff, I was starting to get some definition, like, in my waist, if that's what you want to call it. And now it's gone. Not gone, but it's not very apparent. And to be honest, it's kind of convenient for me. No, it's not really convenient, but I don't know where my scale is. Like, because we just moved into this new house. I'll let you get a, a sneak peek. It's not the same house as I used to dance in. Oh, that wasn't my Heineken. Even though I'm legal, that wasn't my Heineken. Bia. But anyways, um, we just moved. And... It is so, it's, everything is everywhere. And the scale, who knows? The one scale that is, like, right in the bathroom is the one that doesn't work. Duh, of course, that's just how, you know, life is. The thing that you need is always very deep and the, that you don't want is right there in front of you. <sighs> Anyways, so I don't know what the scale would say if I did get on. I don't have my measuring tape here. The measuring tape that I was using, that was when I was back in Atlanta like a couple weeks ago. And I still remember my measurements. And even if I didn't remember, I have the video. So, man, oh, I'm dreading it. I'm for real. Like, all I hear is dun, 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 dun. That's what I hear when I think about getting on a scale. Because I already know that every two seconds I was like, well... I don't know how long I'm going to be here, so I got to try to get eateries. I thought I was like Andrew Zimmerman or something or whatever the dude's names are from the Food Channel. They'd be like, oh, this is so good. All the flavors combined. Yeah, I was acting like that the whole time. And not to mention, even when I wasn't going to some kind of restaurants, like I was with friends and loved ones who would always hook me up, like cook for me. And sometimes we didn't feel like cooking until super late, which is a no, no, no. That is a terrible, that is a terrible thing to do. It's eat super late when you're trying to lose weight. And we weren't eating dinner with, like, you know, with rice and potatoes and stuff like that on the side. We would eat, like, seriously, like, 11, 12 o'clock for dinner. And then probably go to bed within an hour or two. That is terrible. And I knew at the time, like, man, I don't need to be doing this. But I wasn't going to refuse. I should have, could have, but I didn't. So now I'm paying for it. I'm all juicy again. Like <laughs> I was already, I was always juicy, but now I'm super juicy. Like I, I got my cheeks is all, my cheeks is all big. See, and I, when I take pictures and stuff, I, I notice it on pictures. I'm just like, ooh. When I look at my, like my old videos and stuff, I'm like, man, I had some definition to my face a little bit, but now it's just round. And the thing is, the worst part about it is. Is that I don't mind. See, that's the thing. If I was like, oh man, my face is all round. Now I don't feel attractive anymore. Now I don't feel... Then it will be easier for me to get in gear, maybe. Or it would just make me go to a downward spiral. I don't know.
But the thing is, I, I'm not, I'm comfortable with how I am right now. And it's too comfortable because I don't have that push. Even though I have, all, like, the people who talk to me on here, y'all like, oh, good job, keep it going, blah, 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 blah. I need that. I need to keep that going because it's, it, it was helping. It really was. Before I started traveling, like, the feedback, it was really helping. But then I got on this tangent, and it's, it's really hard to get back on a horse once you fall off. But I got to do it. Because, like I was saying, um, it was, it was you know, really helping. I, I lost my train of thought, to be honest, because I don't make outlines or anything. I just start talking, and I'm a very random kind of person. So let me think. Give me a second. Mm. <laughs> All right. Really, all I want to say is that um, I'm, I'm actually moving. I'm leaving again, as far as I know. Ooh, blackout. Blackout. I'm in Toledo right now, Ohio. I'm going back to Atlanta next week after Z holiday. And I can't make any more excuses, man. Oh, I remember what I was about to say. So I'm comfortable. I knew I was in, you know, like phase two again. If you go back to my, my video, oh, man, I'm super fat again. I might put a little link somewhere. If you go back to that video, I was explaining the different phases of being a fatty, being a club fat, and how they affect you and your clothing and your self-esteem usually. I'm in phase two, kind of, but I, I don't mind it. And my mom was like, um, no, I don't care if you're comfortable how you are. You need to get uncomfortable. And I was like, I don't want to be uncomfortable no matter what size I am. I need to at least be able to function because this is how I look right now. She was like, no, but you need to find it in yourself to get back on your grind because it's not just about looks. It's about health. And I'm like, you know what? You are dang right. It really is because I don't want to get the sugars, a.k.a. diabetes. I don't want early heart problems or, you know, I don't want bad circulation. And all that is increased with increased weight. And I know that. But at the time when I'm about to, I'm not thinking about that. I'm not thinking diabetes. I'm thinking this is about to be delicious. And I'm sorry if that made y'all just want to go get something that would fit right here. I'm sorry. Because I got, you know what? I got to be good. So, anyways, I said all that to say, no matter if I'm traveling or not, I need to get my mess together. Because my clothes still fit decently just because I got a lot of stretchy stuff. But um, that's not the issue. The issue is health. And I want to be healthy. And I, I want to be confident at whatever size I am. But I want to get down to a size that is healthy. And like out of the main risk zones. So besides all of that, my lovely, lovely fatties. Besides all of that, today was my sister's birthday. And I wish she was down here right now. But she's too busy upstairs playing with her Zubles and Monster High. Those dolls are creepy. Those Monster High dolls creepy for real but um anyways she got everything that she wanted like on her little list so it's warmed my heart oh i just scratched myself anyways and um her birthday cake had the candles on it that uh <laughs> that don't blow out even though you keep blowing so she was just like <clears throat> and i was like uh i don't want near that cake but then i got a piece like hours later i'm like eh, it's cool now but really it wasn't because whatever she had like spit on the cake was now all dried up and stuff but anyways so random. Um, yeah, she had a, a really good birthday. And I had a really good day. But I just had to vent to y'all. I haven't had a video this long in a minute. Oh, my viola. My viola is right. Where is it? It's like right on the side of one of these couches. So tomorrow, I, somebody got to remind me. Because I, I mean, no, no, I'll be fine. I'm about to set an alarm on my new phone. As soon as I go charge it, I'm going to set an alarm. Viola, tomorrow. Make it happen. What is today? Friday. Oh, I'm supposed to dance today. Dang. Well, since it's this late, I don't really think that's a great idea. But, um, tomorrow, yeah. Dance day, you, me. Let's do it. Alright, I have to dance to hot and cold. Because you're hot and you're cold. You're yes, then you no. In and you out. Up and you down. I gotta dance to that because somebody requested it, like, while I was in Atlanta and it's been a while since I was there so that is coming up if you are still subscribed to me and still watch my videos so um I'm gonna go now because I think I've been to enough oh no 10 minutes it's for sure about to be 10 minutes if this is out of sync I'm gonna be so mad but I'm still gonna post it 
Thanks again. All right. Thanks so much for watching. It is Fantastic Fatty Freestyle Friday, but I kind of just talked a lot anyway. So it's kind of like soaring up Saturday. Just so imagine that two days got switched over or something, whatever. Love you so much. <laughs> if you have anything that you want to say, please say it. I will try to respond to you accordingly. Um, to anybody who, you know, I'm not even going to address negative people because, yeah, it's, there's no point. I'm just going to keep doing me. But thank you for any comments anyway. That's all I got to say. And if you're feeling my vibe, go ahead and click subscribe. Yeah. Peace out.